you are in the real world of this closet, um, and I have Christopher here helping me. So, um, what you gonna do, Christopher? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take out all the shoes and put them in the hut, and like where, you, where you're standing right now. Yeah. And then we're gonna take them out, put them right there, organize the shoes from like Caleb's, mine, Jordan's, and then my mom's gonna put the shelves right here, mm -hmm. and they're probably gonna put like Christopher, Caleb, and Jordan. You want your names on there? Yes. Why? Because then I feel like they're my shoes. <laughs> And then um, she's but, gonna organize it, and then I'm gonna organize this to look nicer and not like cluttered and everything, so we can't walk in. So I like that idea. Nice, yeah, yeah. At all these shoes, so many shoes. What? Are you gonna help out with the organization? Oh. Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for stopping by. Well, as you can see in the first part of my video, we have a situation in our shoe closet. And um, I found this idea on Pinterest and I thought it would be the best solution to our shoes. Now, in my closet, we have a very narrow side and this actually worked the best. And so I was excited to be able to do this build. And you'll have to let me know what you think of this shoe solution. I got all my wood cut down to size. So what, what I ended up doing is I went to um, I went to Lowe's and I got a six foot piece. And I'm, I'm never good at describing what type of wood it is. I think it's pine. I really don't know. I probably should take better. Um, I should probably look better. But they're about three and a half inches wide and they're six feet long. Now, when I was looking for a good piece, I found that the longer pieces were way more warped than the shorter piece, so I, got, so I was able to dig out three of the six foot ones that didn't look as damaged. I got four foot um, planks. I had better luck finding straighter boards in the four feet. I cut my six foot um, long strip into three foot length. So I'm gonna, this is the bottom piece. Then I cut two short ones for the sides at 12 feet tall. Now, my boys um, and my husband's, their shoes are um, poss possibly gonna be a little bit longer, but that's okay because it's gonna go against the wall. Then I found, I got lucky, and I found these, and I kind of forgot that these were here at the house, so I didn't have to pay anything for these. And again, um, I have no idea what this one is, and um, it was just some scrap that we had here for a different project. We didn't end up doing it. And so it was kind of left over in my beautiful stash over here. And so I gave it a good sand. And these I cut um, to, it was just a little bit more than 37 and a half feet. It was just like that one line over. Now, what I did to measure is I put my bottom piece in and I put both sides so I can get the exact exact measurements without doing the math. It's like a cheap way of doing it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just set it up there. So I'm gonna go ahead and pre-drill the holes. I'm using deck screws. And again, these are the, just ones that I had here at the house. I didn't go buy anything new. Um, and I think these are gonna work fine. I'm gonna pre-drill the hole and then we will use these to uh, secure it. So let's assemble. up to my Milwaukee drill it's way more heavy duty than my little cordless drill here I think this is more for 
small, smaller projects. And um, so I switched out to my Milwaukee. It's um, heavy, but it does the trick a lot better and a lot faster. Okay, so to measure my first my first front piece here, I went and grabbed a pair of shoes and one of the bigger pairs of shoes so that I know how much space. And so I'm going up about from the very bottom, three and a half inches, and that's where I'm gonna put the bottom of this first top rail. And then I'm gonna go ahead and screw it in. If you care what this looks like, then you can sink in your screws or you can use um, wood glue with, your brad nailer, um, whatever. Um, I really don't, where this is going, I really don't care what the outside looks like. I not, might not even stain it, paint it or nothing. I might like leave it with the natural wood. Um, so that's your preference. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in a couple screws here and then we'll go on to the back. Done. Well, basically at this point, you may not even have to put it back if you don't want to, um, depending on where you're putting it. I might go look and see how I like it like this, and we may be finished. All right, so I'm gonna go with my plan B. It actually worked out perfect. I kind of went and looked and measured it on the wall. I'm not going to put a backing on here, so that means I have more wood to make more of these. Um, we have a lot of shoes and everybody, I mean, we all wear them. My boys like to change up their shoes. Um, and so I will need multiple shelves like this and where I'm putting it, I will show you in a little bit. Um, I don't have a very wide area um, to get a cubby to put their shoes on and I always felt like those never worked. So I'm loving this idea and I'm loving how this will just go right up against the wall. What I might do is I might go back to Home Depot or Lowe's and get like a little hangy, um, maybe like a picture hangy thing. That way I can just um, put some screws or some nails depending on what I find in it um, and just hang it like that, like it's a picture hanger. Um, I'm excited. I'm kind of, um, I kind of was overthinking this and sometimes when you overthink things, uh, you make it more complicated than it really is. Okay, so I had to do this in two parts because I had to go out and together as a family and so I'm back here trying to finish up this project. I, I got these D-ring um, from Lowe's and all I'm doing is I'm going about two inches down and I'm gonna just go ahead and, and um, put them in the, um, the, back, the back part of this. And then I will show you how I mount it on the wall. closet and I know you can't see all of it right now but we're gonna um, I'll show you a better view in a minute but I have this and I'm just gonna go over the baseboard right here and I got these um, wall hangers sorry wall anchors and I got it with this drill bit because I never know which drill bit works with this and so and I have a bunch of drill bits but I don't know how to measure it properly so I like this because it's all together and it was like seven bucks and I have enough of these to cover all four of my shelves. So I'm going to go ahead and mount it up here. I'm going to um, um, basically just use the baseboard out. Um, my wall isn't 100% straight either or my wood so I'm going to um, and that kind of happens when 
houses shift and nothing's perfectly straight. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and put another one up higher. So I'm going to measure and figure this out and get it working, get it going. Okay, so I got my first shelf in. I ended up hitting a stud here and I thought I had cleared it, but I didn't. But I think I'm going to go ahead and leave it and I'm just going to move this other shelf over. So what I did is I, I don't really have a, an amazing method for this, but it worked. So I kind of just eyeballed it. I had some shoes in there and I just drew a line and I um, drew a line on the top. Then I measured from the very top to the very middle part of this hanger. Then I'm gonna go ahead and drill the hole on the other side and I went about, um, I mean the bottom was a little easier. I stuck my end in the middle of this hanger and then I went over and I measured. Yeah, so it's 36 and a half center to center and that's how I get over. So now what I'm gonna do is now, if you had a leveler, that would be, you know, easier. I don't know where mine is, and so I just want to get these up. So I'm going to go ahead and measure from the bottom of this one. shelf up that went a lot easier than the other one did um, you get smarter as you do more so I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the one on the other side kind of off to the side Christopher did an amazing job in here clearing everything out and he put up this curtain this goes underneath the stairs that goes upstairs and so he I have a lot of my um, Christmas decor and I like to leave it in here versus the garage and so he did a great job as, at reorganizing that and covering it with this curtain. And because um, basically we do not go past this portion anyway. And sometimes it becomes kind of a catch all and you know, you don't know what to do with it. You just kind of throw it in here. So this will kind of help with that as well. So I'm going to get this last shelf up and then I'll show you my finished product. All right, here are all the shoes in place. Now I was able to fit all the guys shoes for in this side because they're a little bit bigger shoes and then I on this side I have my shoes and Jordan's shoes and I was able to fit a little bit more um, obviously because we're we're smaller um, my flip-flops actually was able to um, put them in side by side so if you have a lot of flip-flops since this big summer you can just stack them in there so you can make these as long as you want tell me what you think I'm loving this method now the question is will they keep it this way we'll have to do a follow-up in about a month maybe even a week to see how this holds up let me know what you think thank you for stopping by have a wonderful week and we will see you soon